Hey everybody, I'm just going to make some bookmarks with you guys today and show you how I made these. This is not my idea. I got this from May May Made It or May May Helms and we're going to use some various inks and um, Stampin' Up color, uh, cardstock and their ribbon and it's pretty simple to make. They, they're really quick and they're even magnetized so let me show you how that works with these colors I used Old Navy and uh, white, uh, sh Sweet Sugar Plum and then some brown and this one I used Peekaboo Peach and Flirty Flamingo so let me show you how this works and then we'll get started got a book here what you do is you just open it up, slide your bookmark in, and see it just magnetize itself, and there you have your bookmark. So let's get started. I'm going to try to use different colors this time. I want to use this Daffodil Delight and maybe some... Oh, flirty flamingo and some yellow maybe or maybe just browns and yellows and I do have a Stampin' Up! trimmer but I tell you what I did I cut those magnetized heat vent covers with it to hold my framelits inside my stamp sets that coordinate with each other and it ruined my blade so I have on order some blades and I cannot use it at all. So there's your tip. Do not cut those magnetized um, heat vent covers with your trimmer. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our um, Daffodil Delight or whatever your cardstock that you want. And you're going to make four strips out of this one sheet of paper. And you're going to cut at two and three quarters. And you should get four out of this. So you're going to cut it on the long side. There's that. Then you're going to take your stamping page. And I've got a little what I call boogers. I got a little booger here, but this is going to be the back side so it won't really matter. And you need four of these that are two and a half by three and three quarters. I need to make sure this is long enough and it is that way. You need four of them, so we're going to cut four at two and a half. And I always save these little white pieces for sentiments. So that's cut at two and a half. So you're going to cut it at three and three fourths. And this is the reason why I don't use this paper trimmer. Because you cannot see your marks. So this is a guesstimate on this side. So there's one. Save that. You can see the little booger got cut off, so we don't even have to worry about that. So I need another piece of white that we are going to cut at three and three quarters, and then again at two and a half. And we're done with this trimmer, so we're going to put it up. Then we're going to get our Stampin' Up! trimmer because it has a score blade on it. And 
and we're going to score the long side at four and a quarter. Oh, do you see what I just did? I just cut it. We might can make that work. We'll try. Got to be careful. You can make a mistake really quickly. That's okay. We might can sacrifice that one. So, we are going to fold these on the score line, get them nice and straight. Then we're going to get our Stampin' Up! envelope punch. And we're going to use the rounder side and round the folded side with it. And we're going to take our stamping cardstock, the one that we're going to stamp on, and we're going to round it. I'm new to stamping up, so I don't have all the tools yet that makes things easier, so I improvise. So we're going to take our stamp set, Painted Harvest, get our two blocks out, and get our flower detail. And I've put a mark, a Sharpie, on the very top of mine so I could line these up quickly and take one of our stamping pieces and what do I want to do my background is yellow so let's use yellow I don't have um, the daffodil delight ink pad from Stampin' Up! So I'm going to use this ink pad that I already have and ink my first part of my stamp up first with it. And I like to stamp off. I think stamping off is really professional looking. And you can do this in assembly line. Just have them all out and do them in assembly line, but to save time, I am going to just do one. So I'm going to set that aside, and we're going to use Peekaboo Peach for our second flower color, and I'm going to stamp off because I don't want it to be so bright. I want it to be a little subtle. That looks like it still had some green on it. I thought I cleaned these. But that's the beauty about this stamp set. It looks good either way. So that looks pretty good. Two different colors. Love it. And see how it's going to pop behind the yellow. Yep. That's going to be absolutely spectacular. 
So we'll close our ink back up. We are going to get some brown. Some olive green. We're going to do some. That's black. We're going to use some leaves in our background. Just stamp off a little bit. We're going to use the little acorn. I love that little acorn. It is super duper cute in this stamp set. So we're going to leave some room maybe down in the corner and up here with the, or maybe right there, for the little acorn. Set that aside. Now we're going to get out our center. And find the right color brown, not black. Now this stamp's pretty dark. This is chocolate chip. So what I like to do is ink my stamp up, stamp off find my mark where I know that that's the top and if I get too much white I can fix it I figured out how to fix it so whatever part that the white is showing you only ink that part of up on your stamp and just lightly put it down and it'll kind of cover that white area up a little bit okay then I use these little dots I like to have the little dots in the center like that And go ahead since I have the brown out and do my little acorn bottom. Put one there. And I think that's only room I have is for that one. I don't see where I can fit in another. Then we get our little acorn top. And again, I don't have but just a few inks. I've got a order out to Stampin' Up. Hopefully I'll get some more in. So I'm going to use this VersaFine ink pad in Toffee. Ink my acorn top up. Isn't that cute? Even though I've got a line through it, I mean, it just looks like it was made that way. So the next step is to, and I stamped it upside down, but I don't matter. We're going to glue this on or use our adhesive. And you would use snail, but I'm out of snail. But that doesn't stop us from crafting, does it? Make sure you've got the opened end at the bottom. And you kind of want to make sure you've got a little bit more room at the top than you do at the bottom. And just glue it on. Take your hole punch. Kind of eyeball it and put it in the center. And you want to make sure you get it down a little ways. Punch your hole. And then you get out your ribbon that you want to use. The ribbon collar. I think I want to use this uh, Daffodil Delight. I think it's going to look really cute. 
and get you a piece of it. And you're going to feed it through. And what I do is just bend the corner down to make a little point. And put the ends back up through. And pull it a little taut. And then cut at a diagonal. My scissors are dirty. That's why it's not behaving. Now, this is where the magic begins or ends. So we've already had some magic. This is some magnetic strip. And I just got it at Walmart. The beauty about this is it already has your adhesive on it. So you want to cut a piece. Not too big. And then you want to make sure you got the same size. So these are magnetized and you can just place them together and trim. Then you take the backing off. It's easier said than done. Just like that. Place it on the inside of your bookmark. Adhere it down. Squish it real good. Make sure it's on there. And then what you want to do is you want to make sure before you glue this one to that that they match up. And so what you do is you take your backing off of this one. Place it back down. And you will hear it click because it's a magnet. And then press. <clears throat> and there's your bookmark, ladies and gentlemen. Pretty neat. And you even have room to put a sentiment in, inside if you want to. <coughs> but really easy. So there's a bookmark made out of Daffodil Delight. So please subscribe to my channel. Visit my online store at stampinwithkathy.stampinup.net. I hope y'all have a great weekend. See ya. Bye.